Verse 6. Be strong, be strong, be strong, and of what? Boy, that's terrific. To be strong and to be of good courage. The average person is usually discouraged. They're discouraged. The, the problems with which they are confronted look so tremendous, like they're obstacles that can never be overcome. And therefore, instead of coming up to that obstacle with good courage, they come up with discouragement. They say, well, I've been sick for 10 years. I couldn't get well anyways. Or I've had flat feet for 15 years. I might as well get flatter yet. You see, discouragement, discouragement, discouragement. Discouragement's always from the devil. Whenever we get discouraged, we are always wrong because our God made us more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loved us and who gave himself for us. So he said to him, Be strong, be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shalt thou, Joshua, divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Verse 7. Only be strong and very what? For the second time, the word of the Lord to Joshua is be strong. Stand faithful. Stay put. Be courageous. Not only told him once, he told him twice. And people, we got to keep telling ourselves the same thing. Be strong in the word of the Lord. And be very courageous in our walking on the word of God. For it's only as we arise and start walking that the obstacles with which we are confronted will ever be moved. As long as you sit looking at them, at them and you're discouraged, you'll always be overwrought by the tremendousness of the obstacle. But when you start walking, the closer you get to it, the more it begins to dissolve. And as you walk into it, God makes you more than a conqueror. Only you have to be strong and very courageous. Very courageous. That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to what? The left. You see, the law represented the word of God to Joshua as well as to Moses. And the word of the Lord was, if you have the law of God, you know what God's will is, then you do not turn to the right or to what? You see, you carry it out right down the line. You just carry it out, for the word of God is the will of God. It means what it says and says what it means. Just carry it out, he said, that thou mayest do what? Prosper. That thou mayest prosper. The word prosper is the same word that's translated other places wisely that thou mayest do that which is wise. Well, it's always wise to do the will of God. And when we do the will of God, we prosper in the things wherewith God hath set us in this world and enabled us to understand. And certainly we, ex we should prosper, shouldn't we? God expects us to. And the only way we can prosper is if we let this word of God be the will of God to us. Verse 8, this book of the law, shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and what? See that? He gave to Joshua the book of the law, the one Moses had brought down and Moses had written. He gave this to Joshua, and he said, in this word of God, you're going to meditate day and what? He didn't tell him to go out and get the secular newspaper, the radios, and the television, and all the other periodicals, and say, work these and meditate on this theologian's teaching or this professor's teaching. He said, stay put in what? The Word of God. And this is one of the purposes for our people being here in the summer school, that in our classes on power for abundant living, we can again teach our people how this Word of God works with a mathematical exactness and with a scientific precision so that individuals can once again read the Word of God and meditate on it without reading a Sunday school commentary or a man's writings on it, but that you can again read the Word yourself, understand it, and know that you know that you know that you know. That's why he said to Joshua, take this law and you meditate. 
meditate. Meditate means what it says and says what it means. Meditate on it both day and night, which means make this the center of your life, day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then, then, then only, he said to Joshua, if you do this, thou shalt make thy way what? Prosperous. Without, without following the word of God, no man can manifest great prosperity. And then thou shalt have good success. It's only as we do the word of God that the success comes to us because the word of God becomes the will of God for us. Isn't that wonderful? Have not I commanded thee in verse 9? Be strong and of what? Good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou discouraged. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Oh, what a tremendous command that is. Isn't that wonderful? Be strong and of good courage for the third time. And be not what? Afraid. You see, when you're strong and of good courage, what happens to the fear? It dispels. It's gone. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. Do not be overwrought by anything. Why? For the Lord thy God is what? With thee. And people, that's the greatest thing to know in the world today, that the Lord our God is with us. To know that you're a Christian, born again of God's Spirit, filled with the Holy Spirit, is the greatest truth you have in your life today. To know that you're heaven-bound in the midst of all the calamities of society and the involvements of the world in which we live. To know that you know that you know that you know that you have eternal life and that Christ is in you, the hope of glory, is the greatest message to the heart of any man or woman today. So that you know where you're going. The Lord thy God is with thee. The Lord thy God is with thee. And remember what the scripture says, if God be what? For us, who can be against us? For who can withstand the great power of God in a believer? If the servants of God in the Old Testament were able to believe God so wonderfully and so magnificently, cannot you and I, who are born again of God's Spirit, believe as big and manifest as much? Surely the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou art. Isn't that wonderful? Wherever Joshua went, he said, Do not be discouraged, do not be dismayed, do not be full of fear, for I, the Lord thy God, am with thee. And if God is with a man, that makes a, a man a majority in whatever incident, whatever position he's in. All right, now think of yourself. Is Christ in you the hope of glory? All right, the Scripture says Christ is in us when we're born again. That wherever you go, is God with you? All right, then why be discouraged? Why be dismayed? Why be distraught? Why can't we go out this week and expect this to be the greatest week of our lives? Why cannot we expect God to do signs, miracles, and wonders in our life this week? Because our God is with us. Our God is with us. And he being with us, we need not be discouraged or distraught or afraid. Be of good courage. Be strong. With Christ in you. And knowing God's word. You only limit yourself by your own believing. For Jesus said, Be it unto you according to your believing. All things are possible to him that does what? Believe it. That's why when we know the word of God, we can meditate on it day and night. We can walk in it. And walking in it, we can bring to pass the things that the word talks about. This is why, people, you will have the most wonderful opportunity in your life this week. Because wherever you go, you'll be the most positive people they've ever seen. You'll be people who know God's in you. And when you go someplace, you're not going to talk negatively because God said, be strong and good courage. Be very courageous. You're not going out to complain all week about your arthritis, rheumatism, headache, flat feet, or anything else. You're going to... to Say what God did for you, how he delivered you, how he saved you, how he filled you with the Holy Spirit, like we were talking about in testimonies to sharing tonight. Those are the witnesses, because you are God's people. 
and they'll only see God as they see you. For as we walk, they read God in our lives. Without seeing us and our believing and our walk of believing, they cannot see God, for God is spirit. But as we walk very strong, very courageously, nothing with which we are confronted is able to stop us. For our God is with us. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou 